VRBO Citrus Bowl, Camping World Stadium, Orlando, Florida, 1 p.m. on January 1st between the Penn State Nittany Lions at number 12 and the number 14 Kentucky Wildcats. The 2019 edition of the Citrus Bowl is a great matchup. Ranked teams have both feel like they kind of deserve a New Year's Six Bowl or a better bowl than the Citrus Bowl is. Uh, Penn State has all the name recognition behind them. They started the season in the rankings, played well all season long, but uh, back-to-back losses to Ohio State and Michigan State really derailed any big bowl opportunities for the Nittany Lions. Um, then they couple that with a late-season loss to Michigan, and now they you know, get relegated to the Citrus Bowl. Um, it's going to be – this game will be the last opportunity for you to see – Quarterback Trace McSorley in a college football game, or at least one that matters. Oh, darn. He, he might play in a you know one of those All Star crap whatever games. Um, high State fans will be happy to know that uh, he's torched the Big Ten for three years, headed into the professional ranks. Maybe um, don't know how he'll you know do in those ranks, but add to the offense in the Lions. Miles Sanders, the running back, uh, he's filled in quite remarkably for Saquon Barkley, who left for the NFL. Uh, Miles Sanders had 1,200 yards and nine touchdowns. So the one-two punch of McSorley and Sanders going to be a little bit difficult for the Kentucky defense to corral. So this is another SEC Big Ten rivalry um, in this one. The SEC typically doesn't lay claim to Kentucky football. They, it, it's a basketball school. Kentucky helps in the basketball side of things for the SEC. But the Wildcat football team in 2018 really turned a lot of heads. 5-0 and start. A pair of top 25 upset put Kentucky on the college football map. A late season stumble at Georgia, which is an acceptable loss. Georgia's a really good team. And then another loss to Tennessee, which is unacceptable because Tennessee is not very good. That put Kentucky down to number 14 after they climbed up into the top 10. Um, that knocked them out of the New Year's Bowls. But it, it can all be salvaged. This will be a very good win if they're able to beat Penn State and secure Kentucky football its first 10-win season since 1977. Linebacker oh. Josh Allen, not to be confused with Bills quarterback Josh Allen, he was named, get this, listen to this list of accolades. SEC Defensive Player of the Year. He won the Bronco Nagurski Trophy, which is the best defensive player in the NCAA. He won the Lot Impact Trophy, uh, which impact stands for integrity, maturity, performance, academics, community, and tenacity. He won the Benaric Award for Best Defensive Player in the NCAA. So it's two different Best Defensive Player in the NCAA. And he was the runner-up for the Buckus Award, which is the Best College Linebacker. So he's he, he to say he surpassed his two-star recruitment he, is a little bit of an understatement. He's had a hell of a year. Uh, and I'd be mad at myself if I didn't get to mention this one. The Wildcats running back went to high school right here in Westerville. He went to Westerville Central. Benny Snell Jr., Three straight 1,000-yard seasons, including back-to-back 1,300-yard seasons for the Wildcat. Great, gritty runner, and he's always out there to prove all of his doubters wrong. This will be the one time I'm going with the SEC over the Big Ten because, A, I hate Penn State, and, B, go Westerville. Benny Snell gets a late touchdown. Kentucky wins 31-30. to Wow, it's a real tight matchup there. Tight and uh I don't think it'll be quite as tight. The Nittany Lions are favored by six and a half, but I really wasn't impressed with McSorley. Like I, everybody says, oh, he's, you, you even said it. He's been torching the Big Ten for years at this point. I just anytime I see him, I'm not like, hey, that's a really good quarterback. It's one of the it's right. I, of don't, a, I don't know if it'll eh. translate to the NFL, but he, he it, for he gets wins. He gets the play done that needs to be done. That's what yeah, I. I all that to say that I, I think I'm going with Kentucky on this one as well. Um, as much as I, I like Penn State winning for the Big Ten, I just at Kentucky just feels better in this one. 